The old jalebi has brushed off the rust from its body and is speeding through the race track with all the other young and fast race cars. Good old big daddy Jerry Cadorad is finally back and the fashion in which he made this comeback was nothing less than sheer dominance. After his loss against Armes Gasparini, rumors started to gain surface of Jerry being outdated and out of shape. His genuine address of him not being fully fit was taken as an excuse and Jerry kept his calm. East vs West came to USA and boy did Big Daddy love it. With the support of an energetic crowd of over 2000, the torque this jalopy released was more than enough to decimate a streetcar named Alex Kurdeha. The Polish giant had no answer for the notorious dead wrist press of Jerry and he seemed pretty inept in performing any kind of maneuver whatsoever. The power was so overwhelming that all the speculations of a long, sweaty, rusty and grueling match came crashing under Jerry's triceps and the whole bout ended in less than 15 minutes. The only thing Alex could do was shake his head in utter disbelief. Now that the amazing performance is registered in the history books, the next in line for Jerry is a feat nobody has achieved in the past seven years, and that is beating Levon. Can Jerry do the impossible is the question everybody is asking, but the real question should be, how can Jerry beat Levon? Pinning the evolved version of Levon Saganashvili is a three-body problem for Jerry, and if he is able to solve this, he can certainly win the Georgian Hawk. The first part of the problem is Levan's strength. There has been a steady gain in Levan's power over the period of time. The role of steroids cannot be ignored, but this kind of strength digs deep into the genome and its structural integrity of sustaining the onslaught of heavy-duty steroid usages. Jerry is a genetic freak himself. Since the early 90s to the first decade of 2000s, and till now, the size and structure of Jerry has been consistent. In other words, Big Daddy has always been big. Jerry's weight has always been around 150 kg throughout his professional career. At 51, there is no possibility for Jerry to increase his weight, but surely he can develop some hardening bombs in his triceps to load that vicious press to the point where Lavan's static strength fails to incorporate a counter move. Lavan has some serious issues countering the dead wrist press in the past as well. Adames stopped Lavan solely on his shoulder and triceps after making him lose the center. Jerry's press is much more precise and generates twice as much power. Lavan is definitely in trouble if Jerry can execute his press to the point of acute precision. Second part of the problem is stamina. Bigger and evolved version of Lavan has become a sprinter rather than a marathon runner. Except the match with Hermes, we have not seen Lavan going to a distance in a fight. Also, that was the only time his stamina failed him and he was left gasping for breath. Though Lavan has stated that he wasn't in his best shape that day, his stamina is still under scrutiny for the lack of proper evidence. On the other hand, Jerry is known for his long and grueling battles where he shows the level of endurance that troubles even the lactic acid freaks like Devon Larratt and Michael Todd. If Jerry can somehow increase his resistance and keep Lavan off-center for a considerable amount of time, then surely Lavan will be in deep waters with an alligator. The third and final part is technique. Lavan has not only evolved as a mutant with superhuman strength, but his stable IQ and arm wrestling technique supersedes many of the very best hands there is in the sport. His top roll reaches near perfection with an amazing hand control supported by an immeasurable back pressure. Though he rarely uses his hook, but his thick hand and thicker wrist takes his cupping ability to a maximum and he seems pretty unhookable. In the first round of his second bout with Devin, Lavan also demonstrated his ability to arm wrestle without his wrist, which adds press to his arsenal as well. 
All things considered, Lavan Saganashvili is a perfect specimen of an arm wrestling mean machine with no or very little chinks in his impregnable armor. Jerry, on the other hand, pushes his way through each of his adversaries in almost all of his bouts with just one move, the dead wrist press. Jerry's press is so powerful and effective that his name has become synonymous with this move. What other arm wrestlers uses as their last resort is the signature move of Jerry Cadavat. As Bruce Lee once said, I am not afraid of the guy who knows a thousand ways to kick. But, I'd be careful with the person who's perfected a single kick a thousand times. There's no way Jerry can change his technique in three months. So he needs to focus on his press and agility. Jerry needs to be quicker than Levan and press the living daylights out of him. An off-centered losing position under an offensive press with an all-American crowd cheering for the Big Daddy is a perfect recipe of disaster for dethroning King Levan and crowning the new champion in the super heavyweight division. Jerry has every potential to convert broken dreams of Devon Larratt into a nightmare for Levan Saganashvili. If you like my content and love arm wrestling, then like, share and subscribe. Keep healthy, keep hustling. This is Nitin Vats signing off.